How to record deposit part 1 Hi everyone, my name is Jason from EISD SQL. In this episode, I will be demonstrating how to record different kinds of deposits in SQL software inside the e-invoice era. First, we need to determine whether this deposit is refundable or non-refundable. So, the first situation we can move towards non-refundable deposits as known as advance payment. For example, we ask for a 30% down payment of deposits to start the customer's order. So, these deposits cannot be refunded because we can use it to prepare their items and then the rest of the payment is made when everything is being delivered. Therefore, these transactions will be considered as non-refundable deposits. Based on LHDN guidelines or rulings, the moment you collect this advance payment from the customer, then you need to submit it as e-invoice. So inside our SQL software, first we need to do is go to sales and then go to sales invoice. Let's say we create a new sales invoice and select our customer. So underneath the description side, if you doesn't have any item code for the deposits, then you can leave it blank. So underneath the description side, we can mention it as deposits. And then specifying the total quantity and also the total amount of non-refundable deposits. So into this case, we will click out and filter out the classification code and also account code. Depends on your business operations. You can select the respective account code that you want to record these de uh, deposits as and also the classification code based on your business industries. So after we specify anything, then we can press the save button and then submit it as e-invoice. After we submit as e-invoice, how should we deal with the customer payment side? First of all, we can go towards customer and also customer payment. And then let's say we create a customer payment entry. After we selecting the customer, then we need to specify the total amount paid for this non-refundable deposit on the right side. After we press enter, then we need to knock off this customer payment as deposits. Then we can press save. Then this is how we can record the non-refundable deposits inside customer payment. That's all for now. If you are like this video, please drop a like and subscribe.